Yeah, uh, hello, Crown Stuffers. Another uh, week of excitement and fun in the news media. Uh, where shall we start? Uh, the latest thing that just came out is Rose McGowan going off on Twitter. Uh, if you don't know about that, maybe you should take a look at that and do a couple searches and so forth. Basically, this pedophile thing is finally coming to light in uh, larger and larger. <laughs> well, the lens is getting bigger and the light is getting uh, brighter. Um, lots and lots of news. Of course, Las Vegas. I can't even put videos below. Usually I put lots of videos and stuff like that below, but YouTube takes them down almost as fast as you put them up. I've gotten to the point where I'm just video downloading. I've got, uh, go find yourself a good video downloader and download them because they take them down as fast as they put them up. Uh, videos that contradict the official story, videos where you can hear two guns going off simultaneously, videos where anybody that's got any military experience can hear full automatic. That's not a bump stock. That's full automatic. If you've ever heard of full automatic weapon. See, that's the thing. Americans, most, despite the fact that we own so many guns, most Americans are not gun savvy whatsoever. The, the other thing, the, the idea that this was done with a bump stock is just painfully ridiculous. Uh, go out and get it to the range while you still can and go shoot a bump stock and see if you can put those bullets where you want them to at that range uh, on a consistent basis. There, there should have been bullets every freaking where. And that's another thing. Um, a lot of you idiots don't seem to even realize that, yeah, you expel brass when you fire machine guns. There were, see, that's uh, when somebody pointed that out to me, is like uh, they sent me some pictures of the hotel room uh, yeah, not enough brass for that amount of fire, that's for sure. Um, there's brass, sure, there's some brass scattered around, but there is nowhere near enough to uh, qualify for the uh, the extended bursts of automatic fire. There should be brass like crazy piled up in those rooms. You do see lots of magazines that are full, though, stacked up all over the place. Um, and the guy stuttering and almost saying, my brother's an arms, ah, he's not really an arms dealer. Um, unfortunately, in my lifetime, I've uh, got a few decades under my belt, five and more now, uh, I've known a few gun runners. Uh, they're interesting individuals, and they're not always what you think, uh, and not always the places that you might think, uh, you know, like Canada, for example. <laughs> you wouldn't think that the gun trade to Canada would be huge, but actually it really is. Um, and certainly uh, that had all kind. I mean... That was so false flag, it's ridiculous. And uh, there is huge amounts of evidence to prove it. Uh, I mean, guys doing acoustics, uh, math, I, I think that video is still, I'll, hopefully that'll be below, you can watch that one. Um, but the idea that the, the official story is falling apart, and it only took a week this time. Uh, actually, less than that. And Infowars, as much as you may hate Alex Jones or you may think he's a crazy conspiracy theorist or whatever the hell you think about Alex Jones, he's been. I, I was uh, a little annoyed with him for like trying to push the Antifa ISIS uh, angle. Um, but it looks like uh, ISIS has actually claimed uh, responsibility. And then I see uh, Mossad and a couple other guys uh, walking through uh, the Tropicana. And then I see video where obviously there are gunmen. Uh, in other hotels, uh, Caesar's Palace, Aria, um, oh shoot, what's the other one? Aria, Caesar's Palace. There was another one. Now and and now, Tropicana has these guys going through the going through the freaking casino, fully armed, uh, and none of them in matching uniform, and the one guy's carrying an Israeli weapon with it, magazine loads from the top. Okay. Um, Come on, guys. This one's easy. This one's really easy. And uh, now we got people. I don't have friends that work in uh, hotels there, but I have friends who have friends that work in hotels there. And they're all scared shitless. Because why? Because what they're seeing on the news and what they're seeing on TV and the official story and what happened in Vegas are two completely different things. And they know it. And they're, a lot of them are afraid to speak. Uh, but, I mean, we've got video posted or had video posted of numerous hotel lobbies uh, where they were, you know, crouching, and obviously there was a gunman right there. He wasn't on the 32nd floor. I mean, they turn the lights off and all get quiet because they don't want to get shot at. They don't want to give him a target, and, they, you know, they're hoping that he'll just go by. Um, and other video where they're talking about being on lockdown because they had uh, guys firing at the lobby and that she had just been shot at and that her husband actually threw her down and covered her. 
And uh, then they uh, ran into the hotel, and the whole hotel's on lockdown, the casino's on lockdown, and I don't remember what hotel that was. Bellagio is what hotel that was. There you go. So it was uh, Caesar's Palace, Bellagio, Aria that I know about. Tropicana now had uh, supposedly good guys that turns out most of those good guys, if you listen to the eyewitnesses, a lot of those guys were dressed like... Uh, normal people or, or uh, stagehands or police or whatever turns out. And then there's another one where people are trying to run out and uh, cops standing in the way. What? And then you can listen, uh, and I downloaded that one for sure, You could, you because you could listen to, I'm pretty sure you can still find that around the internet, of the uh, police scanners. Ooh, the police scanners talking about shots fired at gate 7. Oh, and then you can hear shots fired. You can hear there's a video where you can tell that, that uh, there were fi shots fired off in the distance. Not just a taxi cab video, which has become famous because it shows pretty clearly. Oh, that's a reflection. Oh, and an echo. Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, oh, my goodness. Um, and cops saying that, oh, no, it's coming from about a third of the way up. It's coming from, like, halfway up. And then, of course, the 32nd uh, floor is the very top of that guy. Okay, so... I mean, the stories that you're hearing by the mainstream media that it was a lone gunman working alone, all by himself alone, to uh, try and get uh, gun legislation passed, obviously, is complete nonsense. And the fact that we may have been attacked by ISIS or, you know, deep state Democrat Mossad and so forth, but, I mean, ISIS is taking credit for it more than once now, saying that their soldiers, plural, uh, carried out an attack in Las Vegas. Uh, and that comes from friends. Uh, you can find that on the internet, but it also comes from friends I have in the Middle East. Uh, it's just painfully ridiculous what's going on in our country. So let's see. Let's disarm right when we piss these guys off for the last what? We've been bombing them now for 17, 18 years. Uh, bombed them the whole time Obama was in office, and now they're pissed off enough that they're actually picking up and coming over here and uh, figuring out how to get revenge, because I can guarantee you, just like them, if your family, kids, so forth, got killed, and you had nothing left to lose, uh, you might make your way to the Middle East if it was, like, say, I don't know, uh, Iraq bombing us, or China bombing us, or whoever it was, right? Kill your whole family. You'd figure out how to get over there and, and raise a ruckus. And they are. Uh, and we're letting them in, it looks like. But that's a whole other issue. Let's talk about pedophilia, another fun...